it's Christmas Day here in Toronto, ending off 2022. This has uh, been a big year for Elliot's podcast, I think. It's the second year it's it's in operation. And this year was was big because I started to play music on camera. And even actually playing music in general, just for the podcast. I might have done stuff in the first year that was kind of like a repurposing or I'd play stuff that I I'd, I'd already finished or whatever. But this year I really kind of, it went into like video studio mode and it was, there's been a lot of learning and, and every time I do the show that I, I found that there is a theme, like when you, you don't know what your show is about until you do a lot of episodes and I've come to learn. And you, you if you've listened to me and you follow, you've probably found the theme already before I even knew it. But the theme really is is about perseverance and and the art of of showing up and the art of getting up, and it's quite powerful and it's quite it, it's funny because I I do I do identify with the the introvert side of the scale and I identify with I guess what you what people would call a beta personality or something kind of passive in some way relaxed calm but in order to do this work i've i've come to realize that it it taps into to some very intense power that needs to be mustered up and i i would love to share that power with everyone i want everyone to to steal some of this power and i don't and the power is not the traditional word of power that we think of with, with uh, psychotic leaders and and in general the, the world around us, we see a lot of examples of, of power gone wrong. But I I do believe that it it takes some kind of power to to sit down and and sometimes the resistance is so hard and difficult and and it's so it's just such heavy weight. And I would admit that today was heavy weight like it's my show is usually really much done by now and it's it I'm I'm kind of behind schedule and that's okay it's christmas day and i'm happy that it's it's done and that i'm doing it and and that's sort of what i think is part of this whole process is is that we do have a lot of resistance to to doing our most creative work if it wasn't if it didn't have resistance it wouldn't be important work at all and that's why sometimes there's a lot of work that we do during the week that doesn't take a lot of resistance and well i shouldn't say it doesn't take a lot of resistance there's it's it's basically what i'm getting at is there's a lot of kind of meaningless work and they that takes up a lot of our our time and our energy and we just kind of check things off and i know that's been talked about a lot but i really want to just hone in on on this stuff with the the you know sitting down to play music i had sort of worked on this this little piece you know i wanted to do just a short version of it for you and I, I worked on it and then I kind of knew what I was going to play, but just to actually sit down and do it was, was the, was, took some heavy lifting. And, and every time you do it, you get over some of your, you, you chip away at, at some more of the fear that, that kind of lives inside of you. And, and you'll never, you'll never get to a place where it's, it's, it's gone completely. Um, the, the best way, I don't know what the quote would be, but like the best way through it is through it is kind of, I've heard that quote a bit about writing before, like the best way to write is, is to actually, is to write. And I know that doesn't really help people when you're, when you're really stuck. Um, but I would say that, uh, there is, there are a lot of tools and I'm, I guess that's what part of my, my, uh, mission is a mission is not a, a corny statement that a company makes a mission is kind of handed to you from your in your internal states and 
that's sort of what's happening to me is that the mission is becoming clear is that it's it's a twofold mission one is to to share the gift of music and to play that music and to to keep exploring that music and and the other part of the gift is is to to open up a window at the same time in helping other people tap into that power as well and so that's why the show that I do kind of has the two the two sides to it is is that there is me simply playing music and 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 giving that gift which is a well I can talk about for one one minute um cuz it's christmas day <laughs> and then the other side of it is is just like sharing what what goes into it and and to let people know that it is it's it's a it's difficult but it's it's worth it <laughs> so if you were thinking about taking up an instrument in 2023 or another creative act that you really want to do it takes it takes practice to do it and that practice is can be quite the practice can be quite heavy because you have to like pull yourself away from the television and you have to tell people that you that you love and care for that you can't that you can't do this uh, what they want you know you have a you have to set a sort of priority and so it's it's um it, it's not an easy thing to do but in that way but it's totally possible and and the big one that I think people are tempted to say is I don't have the time to like learn an instrument and where's the time and the the time is is created it's manufactured by you and it happens even in 10 minutes a day it happens in 15 minutes a day i mean going all the way full to a full video podcast is that adds a few hours to the week that's for sure uh the if you if you did do that stuff which would be like just recording yourself playing and and posting it that will that will actually amplify the whole thing but that's not for everyone and it's it's by no means a requisite for for engaging in the act it, it just happens to be that we live in a very video based culture on mobile phones and but don't ever confuse the two of making a video and 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 um and being sort of productive in the way of of making progress on on your art so I just quickly want to talk about that thing about the gift, which is that there's there is a book by Lewis Hyde called The Gift, and I only read a little bit about it, but I understood the gist of it that the gift is 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 shared amongst many cultures as an act of generosity and an offering, and sometimes there's a, like a religious element to it, and and that gift is is given to to uh, you know either another person or or to the to the spirit or to to the universe and there's there are stories about how when the when you are given a gift you and you don't pass the gift along it becomes a curse and so music to me is is the gift that i try to give um as much as i can but i can also see how it becomes a curse and that's sort of the the distraught nature of of creative life is that sometimes it's inside of you and you can't seem to get it out. And working with computers can be really challenging for for music. And having to take like a cool idea and and bottle it up in on a grid in the computer is is I've found to be very hard. But doing the work of say playing here in, on the camera is a lot more liberating because it's the gift gets to move through and it doesn't and and when you get into the whole stuff about production and spotify like releasing all the music and and that kind of thing a lot of a lot of the energy of the gift is sort of dissipating and it's and so and it can be deflating and I, i've heard stories about like or i've read stuff 
headlines online that like, you know, Spotify does this thing called wrapped, which shows the artists, their stats, but it can be really depressing if that's <laughs> the stats could be really low because, because of the nature of how, how the internet works and, and Spotify specifically, it favors sort of thing, music that's been included on, on lo- uh, large playlists. So my point of all this is that you, you, none of it really matters in that way. Like the, um, the gift is really, is it can sometimes be as simple as you, you sitting down to play and that, that intense, or you're you sitting down to paint or you sitting down to write and that intense emotion of, of some kind of, um, connectedness comes over you and, it's indescribable, um, sometimes described as the flow state or, you know, disappearing. That was uh, something that Jeff Tweedy wrote about in his book, How to Write a Song, the the act of disappearing. So so I just want you to consider some of that uh, as, we, as we wrap up the year is like the gift, um, you know, taking up, taking up the art and and making an investment in your in yourself and the personal wellness that goes along with it is a gift that you will will give to yourself but as you continue to hone that craft it becomes it becomes shareable and and collective and and that's why many cultures still preserve a lot of really good musical um sharing and and that was one of the reasons I got back into the guitar was was being in Spain and hearing hearing the flamenco music on the street and and that kind of yeah I mean we we have busking and stuff in 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 Canada but it, and we have a little con we have concerts we have people playing in bars but I really loved seeing seeing uh like a, a cultural music on the street and shared and and improvise, improvise, <laughs> improvising was going on because, you know, people, that's how that music works a lot is that, is that there's, you can kind of jump in and the different dancers and, and, and singers. So yeah, I, that's what inspires me. And, um, that's really where I'll kind of leave it at that right now is, is that, um, yeah, everyone has to find their their way in in this world. And it might not be in for you it might not be in music and it might not be in art. But you have to make that investment in in setting that time aside and creating that space to go in and to go deep. And and uh, I'll just leave that with 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 the um the word intrinsic because I'm kind of that's where my head is sort of um, taking all this stuff is is the the word intrinsic means in inside and from within and that's kind of what, what I want to help encourage people with and and to tap into things that are, are inside of you because there's enough stuff outside of you and if you spend your time on your phones and your tvs that's that's another example of outside but we need to create the space to go inside and um and and we we can actually get we can make strides on our work when we go inside because we're not we're no longer worried about how we relate to to other people and and a big thing with music is is that you often compare yourself to other people and that's where that's where inside and the power of inside in, it's all inside of you is is very important and and no matter what craft and, and profession or pursuit you do so that's i hope this is a bit of of a gift that i can can offer and I wish everyone happy holidays and we'll be back I'll be back next week even on uh, New Year's Day so maybe there'll be a bit more a bit more recap of some of the stuff from this year maybe I don't know what I'm I'm planning but it's always 
I show up and then we see what happens. So thank you so much for watching and listening and we'll see you soon. Take care.